You, Mitsuo? You better be ready to pay, you bastard! Wait, Kanji! Something's not right. Everyone gets on my nerves! Sorry. That's why I did it! Welcome back to what do you think of that? Golden. We're gonna fight Mitsuo! Say something, damn it! And, uh, after three fights, I finally figured out his mechanics. Nobody even so thought of me after him. the first two people. That's why I went for the third one! An attempt I to killed them! <sighs> what are you all quiet for? Because... I feel nothing. What are you talking about? Make sense, damn it! What the... which one's the shadow? I... have nothing. I am nothing. And you... are me. What? What's that supposed to mean? I'm... I'm not nothing! No, if this keeps up... Who are you guys? How'd you get in here? Damn it! Who the hell are you? What are you doing here? Shut the hell up. We came after you. Are you the killer? <laughs> of course I am. I'm the one behind everything. I don't give a damn what this imposter's saying. <laughs> you hear that? You have nothing to do with me. Get out of my sight! That goes for the rest of you, too! Why'd you chase me all the way here? I'll kill you! I'll kill all of you! I can do it, you know! I can do anything! So you don't accept me? What the... Damn it, here we go again! Get ready, everyone. Once we beat him, this case is as good as closed. This case is not as good as closed because the game goes on longer than this, bro. <laughs> it's all jaggy and blocky. Is that thing supposed to be a game character? Jeez, how insulting can he get? You'll have to destroy the outer shell first. All right, so we set up a uh, debuffing. And then we just go ham. Pretty much. Let's do this. Oh, 
Um, Yosuke Senpai, your Let's health is really low. Persona! Scared. 
Nice, the loop. Looped him again. Not happy. That's all I gotta say. Um, Yosuke Senpai, your health is really low. Free bomb of life. Here 
That was that fight was done easily. Uh, finally awake, huh? You've been a major pain in our ass. What the? You guys? Who the hell are you guys? Talk to me. The police are after you. They think you're the one who killed King Moron and the other two. So, are you the killer? All the cases, all on me. <laughs> That's right. I did it. You piece of shit. And not just that bastard Moraoka. That stupid announcer. And the Konishi bitch, too. I killed all of them. It was all me. Where'd it go? What's going on? <laughs> <laughs> it's gone. That frickin' monster disappeared. Take that, son of a bitch! <sighs> hey! He's exhausted. We need to hurry and get him out of here. Where am I? Why am I here? What the hell are you guys? S stop it! Why did the TV... <sighs> hey... You seem confused from everything that happened, but we have a bunch of questions for you. First off, why did you do all this? Answer in ten words or less! <laughs> what the hell? Is that a costume? <laughs> what a loser. Get out of my face, you freak. F freak Grr! Hold it, Teddy. You're not helping. Get off my back. I already told you. I did it. Why? How could you do such a thing? Three people are dead because of you. <laughs> <laughs> Everyone's talking about it, right? It's a huge deal. And I did it. All of it. All by myself. You just wanted the attention? Then why did you target me and the others? How did you kidnap us? <sighs> Whoa, look who it is. <laughs> hey, Yuki. After all this time, now you want to talk to me? <laughs> what bullshit. Answer me! If you held a grudge against me, that's fine. 
but why the others? <laughs> what a joke. You're so desperate, it hurts. I didn't care who I attacked. Everyone pisses me off. You what? Gotta be kidding me. You killed Senpai over nothing? You son of a bitch! I hope you're ready to get what's coming to you. <laughs> what, you gonna kill me? Kanji-kun! Kill you? It ain't gonna be that easy, you piece of shit. What you did can never be taken back. No, you're gonna own up to your crimes and pay for what you did. You ain't gonna be allowed to kick the bucket until you understand exactly what it is you've done. <sighs> Why, damn it! Why does she have to die because of this bastard? <sighs> Dude, the cops. Huh? What are you waiting for? Call the damn police! Yeah, you're right. Yosuke. At least Adachi-san seemed happy. Well, I guess this means our work is done. No. He did it all to draw attention. Wow, I can't get my head around that. You didn't Just do it, though. Wrong. I mean, not that it would have been okay if he'd had a better reason. I know. Don't worry. It's finally over. Let's leave the rest to the police. My world will be peaceful again now. No. Yeah, I'm happy for you. We really went through a lot. I like scoring with guys. Oh, come on. Will you ever let it go? What? Scoring with guys? Y you don't need to know the details. I'm sure you'd like us to forget the sauna incident, too. Right, Kanji-kun? Uh... Well, <laughs> that's not fair. I wanted to see everyone else's, too. That's right. We three are the only ones who saw everyone's secret. Hey, so what was Yoshi's like? Come on, it's about time you told us. Come on, let's leave it at that. Speaking of which, nothing really happened in your case, huh? Really? Wait, really? Is there something special about Senpai after all? Sensei is the man! And now that the case is solved, we won't be calling you leader anymore, will we? Oh yeah, it's kinda sad. Hey, why don't we have a celebration? We always have a rap party after we're done shooting. It's fun, and it'll help give us some closure. Ooh, a party! That sounds great! Let's go all out! Oh, oh, I want to go to Yuki-chan's house. Gorgeous dinner, hot springs, table tennis, yukata, geisha, Fujiyama, full witness! You're right. Yukiko-senpai's family runs a hot springs inn. A hot spring that... Yukiko-senpai bathes in, too? Hey, keep it to yourself. You're sounding like a creep. Well, it sounds like fun, but I don't think it's possible today. Oh, yeah, it's summer vacation. All the rooms must be occupied. We can't do a sleepover? Maybe next time. I promise. Hey, why don't we hit your place instead? Oh, but will your uncle get suspicious? Like, why are you all celebrating? Why would we leave her out? The more the merrier. Oh, yeah. If your uncle's a detective, he might not come home tonight. Nanako-chan might be getting hungry. Hey, then why don't we make dinner together? Wow, are you good at cooking, senpai? Well, sort of? What are you saying? Did you already forget the tragedy of the school camp out? 
Well, we already told you that was an accident. She's right. We just got a couple of the ingredients wrong. Guys, please don't do this. I'm begging you. I don't need another trauma to deal with. Hey, I'm a good cook, too. I'll make something for you, senpai. Ta-da! Teddy has a great idea. Let's have a cooking battle. The winner will be crowned Iron Cook Inaba. A cooking battle? Now I'm even more worried. Sure, that sounds like fun. Aw, oh, but I'll win hands down. You sure you want to make it that easy? Dude, listen to me. For the sake of our stomachs, you have to cook something too. Help us, partner. You're our only hope. Then you can represent the guys team. Nanako-chan will be our judge. I can be a taster too. Teddy can be a tester too. At the end, you're supposed to say that was delicious, right? into the grocery section downstairs. Charge! Hello, Dojima residents. Oh, hi. Yeah, he said he's gonna be late today. Huh? Dinner? You're all going to cook? Ask Nanako-chan what she wants for dinner. What do I want? Um, anything's fine. She's just being modest. Ask her again. Well, um, an omelet. I want to eat omelet with fried rice. Okay, I'll be waiting. Fried rice omelet. An excellent choice, Nanako-chan. With a dish that simple, I doubt we'll get a second helping of Mystery Food X. Huh? What's wrong? N nothing All right. Let's go get our ingredients. Uh, if they're all making the same thing, why are they splitting up to different parts of the market? Looks like you'll need all the help I can give you. Hey, what kind of omelet are you making? I'll go get the ingredients for you. I don't know this one. Uh, can I Google it? sauce is the better one. Alright, I found out it was soy sauce. Foie gras? Quite an eye you got there, senpai. It's a must-have for my special omelet. Don't worry, I'll let you have a taste. Ooh, or maybe I could spoon-feed you. <laughs> I heard last time you choked down something so awful that words couldn't describe it. It was horrible. You poor dears. Who would do such a horrible thing? Rise-san, this is going to be the only chance you get to gloat. Is that clear? I'll crush you with one strike. Whoa! You guys look like you're ready to enter the ultimate frying championship. Kanji-kun, that's alcohol. Uh, oh, yeah. <laughs> By the way, where's Teddy? 
Miss, am I allowed to eat this? Of course you can, dear. Eat as much as you like. You're such a nice lady. Is this one cooked already? <laughs> this one's ready, too. Oh, my. Are you hungry for more? Here, I'll open this one, too. You're so beautiful. Oh, my. No. No, I mustn't. I've got a husband and a son. But I really want this meat. And I want you to cook it, miss. Oh, I couldn't possibly. The manager would get so upset. I'm gonna knock the stuffing out of that bear. say chan was right. This celebration does make me feel like it's over. The case really has come to an end. <sighs> I should go back over there soon. Are you going somewhere? Yep. The guys kept their promise. A promise, huh? What if you made a promise with me? Could you stay then? A promise with Nana-chan? Um, a promise that you'll play with me. How about that? Sensei, you kept your promise with me, so I should go back over there. But a promise is a promise. It's not good to break them. Sensei! promise with Nana-chan. I made a promise to play with her. Can I really stay here? It wasn't just my promise. Nana-chan made it with me. I'm really, really happy. Thank you. Yosuke, I have a new promise to keep, so I want to stay here a little longer. Is that okay with you, sir? Huh? What are you talking about? You're not going anywhere. You can't just quit your job like that. In any case, if you left... It's ready! Incoming food! Out of the way, senpai! Whoa! Ow! Well, wait a sec. Asking Nanako-chan to jump in and try these for us is kind of... unethical. Don't look at us like that! Oh... So it's our job to taste it first... to make sure we can keep it down. Hey, that's mean! Then try mine first, Yosuke-senpai. It's guaranteed delicious! You don't mind me going first? Actually, I've been looking forward to yours. I mean, Rizette cooked it herself. Can you imagine how many guys would kill me if they found out? Well then, chow time! I... I... can't give this to Nanako-chan. Ooh, it's so delicious that you won't let anyone else have a bite?
Here, try mine next. I'll take this one. K Kanji, that's a lot. Hey, say something. Well, uh... How do I put this? It tastes really... Um... Boneless? What? That's not a word you use to describe taste. Does it taste good or not? Tell me. Hmm. Doesn't have a taste. Not good, uh, that's for sure. It tastes like... Nothing. Like I'm eating plain oatmeal. It's pretty impressive that you put so many ingredients into a dish and it came out tasting like nothing. Your palate just isn't refined enough. I think it tastes good. <sighs> Nanako-chan. <sighs> okay. Try my next. Uh, I don't know about this, but I think it'll taste good. Uh -huh. This time for sure. No. I'll give it a whirl. How is it? Wow, this tastes awful. You have to try this, Yosuke. Dude, not after you say that. Aha, uh -huh, I see. Well, um, it's a huge improvement over the curry. Yeah, thanks for the consolation. I feel so much better. I think this tastes good, too. Nanako-chan! Oh, yeah, they're right. They're totally right. It tastes awful. Try Risei-chan's! I bet you anything mine tastes better than hers! Senpai? Sure enough. One strike. Well, Yukiko and Chie's didn't taste good either. But at least theirs didn't cause any casualties. <laughs> It's a taste too subtle for kids. It's a mature flavor. You guys are just kids. I... I... Chan's the most mature person in this room. Crocodile tears. Oh, yeah. Didn't you make one too, senpai? You did? Oh. <sighs> this is really good. Never had an omelet with fried rice this good. <sighs> it's amazing. Are you full, Nanako-chan? We're still starving. If you're so hungry, then help yourself to an awful tasting omelet. Huh. Uh, I have a suggestion. You guys know about the festival they're holding in the shopping district, right? Why don't we all go? Oh, that sounds good. Whoa. Does that mean the girls will be wearing yukata? A festival? We'll bring Nanako-chan along, too. I can come? Really? Yay! <laughs> that settles it, then. Festival food always tastes great for some reason. Even if it ain't anything fancy. Whew. We'll finally be able to get some edible food for once.
Save the game? Yes, please. Oh, you can do it for now. I was waiting for the priest to make it more Uh, I mean, I do have to hit level 25. It really late. I haven't really hit level 45 yet, so that's a problem. You're late. Hurry, let's... I don't get it. Let's go. Oof. Wrecked, bro. This. Um...
is this? Welcome back. Cool. We don't have any vegetables, bro. Um, set, bro. Who's calling me? Cheer. For sure. I'm smart, the boy. Um, you have two minutes left in the episode. So going back to the dungeon? I'm not sure. Maybe it wouldn't make much sense. It's a girlfriend. Spend time with her. Yes. Ooh, I'm super smart now. Ooh, that sounds like fun. So, this is your room. It is. Oh, oh uh, sorry. I didn't mean to look around. It's just that this is the first time I've been to a boy's room. Oh, you sleep on a futon, I see. I use a futon, too. <clears throat> um, sorry. I don't know what to talk about. Huh? Oh, y y you mean to sit? Anywhere's fine. <laughs> I I'm fine with anything. You don't need to worry about me. Oh, yes. I'm still studying. Cooking and job licenses. I don't plan to leave anymore, but I thought I might as well. I'm glad I realized sooner. If I'd struck out on my own, I know I would have regretted it. I 
wanted to become completely self-sufficient. But I think I was being presumptuous. I have the inn, I have my family, I have the waitresses and chefs. I am who I am now because I was raised by such a kind group. When I think of it that way, my problems aren't just my own. That's why I'm going to stay here, by my own will. from that shrine to protect you. I want to, but... I'm staying here. This charm will protect you in my place. Then we'll always be together. Um... I love you. Nice, we're maxed out, bro. much at me. Can I say it again? I love you. It's only been 56 minutes. It's only been 56 minutes, but I'm gonna end the episode here. It's been a long journey. We were able to fight Mitsuo. We were able to destroy him before he was even able to rebuild. And that's amazing. Um, we also got Yukiko's for sure love for us in a video game. I know, right? Impressive. Isn't that amazing? But yeah, thank you guys so much for watching this episode of Persona 4 Golden, and hopefully you enjoyed it. I will catch you guys later in the next episode that I make, so yeah, catch you guys later, and peace!